Passive income is definitely seen as the holy grail of starting a business. So actually making incomes without giving up your time any further than when you once create the items. Now I've built the majority of my business on passive incomes because it's given me time freedom. And today I want to share with you three unusual passive income businesses that you might not have seen before that can make you over a thousand pounds a month. So kicking right off, I'm going to give you a suggestion of maybe how to get into the creation process as one of the business ideas. Now talked about passive incomes being that you do not need to give up your time once you have created the item that you're going to sell and help people with. Now you may have heard of selling courses. I'm not going to enter my thoughts about some of the high ticket prices on courses right now. Let's just say though, I want to give you a way that you could be a course creator without needing a website, without needing any social media, media and actually a way for you to really get access to a huge audience as well. Now you might have heard of a very famous YouTuber called Ali. He actually has over I think 1 million subscribers. It could even be more, could have been be close to 2 million now. And he shared recently on this article actually how he makes over 1 million dollars a year. Now obviously I'm interested how somebody's doing that because majority of it's probably likely to be passive. And he actually shared, if we scroll down, that the main source of income for him is using a platform called Skillshare. Now he suggests he makes over $40,000 roughly every month from Skillshare courses alone. So this is a fantastic opportunity for us to take note and maybe to learn from as well. So he creates a topic that he believes other people are interested in and that he's passionate about, creates it as videos, it breaks it all down, then uploads it to Skillshare. Now how he makes his money from Skillshare is royalty payments and also recommending Skillshare to others. So Skillshare is kind of like the Etsy or the eBay of courses. People can upload, you and I can upload any courses that we create and then people when they're searching for courses, let's say on personal finance, and on productivity, they might find your course and you decide the price of it as well. So how do we actually make these videos? If we don't have any equipment or maybe you don't think you're very good, maybe in front of camera or anything like that, how I would suggest doing this is a, an online website called InVideo. Now, it's a really great tool that's actually for making videos, presentations, everything from the web. Now why I particularly enjoy it, and I've mentioned it before, is you can actually use these predetermined templates as well. So everything you see, you can use, you can adapt, and you could create a course quite happily using this platform. Your face doesn't need to be on it even. It could be completely based on a topic that you know people are looking for information and that they would love. So for example, I'm just clicking on a random presentation here, but you can literally build it out exactly as you want. Now, the great thing is obviously you can add voiceovers, so you do not need to have video of yourself actually going through the course, but you build it exactly how you would, let's say in PowerPoint or something like that, but there's so much more you can do. The reason is it's got absolutely tons of stock images and video that you can use. So really, even if you're thinking about YouTube, it's an incredible resource. You could really make your course stand out without even having to be in front of the camera in any way. And another tool you could use is canva.com if you want to create courses as well. And you could actually then build out the same structure and you can save as movies using Canva. And so on Skillshare, you would simply upload your course and then leave it there. Now I hear you asking, okay, how much does the average person though make? You know, that creator was making $40,000 a month. What can we actually make? Well, Skillshare say that the average course builds between $200 right up to $3,000 a month. Now I know with perhaps one course or two courses, you could quite easily break that $100 or $200 building up considerably over time. It's really all about finding a great niche for what you want to do. Now there's tons of stuff on here. So I would encourage you, have a look on Skillshare, see what people are actually already making courses about, knowing that you could serve an audience with the skills that you have as well. Now the next business idea you might not have thought about either, but it's a fantastic niche right now. And again, it's a business you can create completely as a passive income source. I'm talking about digital planners, would you believe? Now, if you've been on Etsy, you know I love Etsy. I've got my store on there for products. I've got some budgeting things, our spreadsheet. I've actually got a digital planner as well. Now, a digital planner being that people can use it on their iPad or their tablet, use a, a kind of device, perhaps add information manually on it, but they can use it as opposed to paper copies. And I really know that a lot of people value their digital planners 
over conventional paper copies. Better for the environment, but also you can take it everywhere with you. You don't have to risk losing it or getting lost. Now I'm suggesting digital planners in particular is because I really think there's a great opportunity that people are missing here. Again, there's so many planners and diaries out there. We're missing the digital equivalent. I think this could be a fantastic area for you. So for example, on Etsy, it costs you nothing to have that store once you've created it. You pay fees to set the items up and then when someone buys, but very small fees in comparison. They handle the VAT, they handle everything actually finding customers if you like for you as well. They've got a fantastic search area for people. So for example, this one shop completely deals in planners, digital planners. Now they have sold over 46,000 planners. Now they have a, a wide range. This person's gone into everything from content planning, we've got digital planners, we've got things like budget planners that they've got a whole host. And when you look at actually what they're selling, the price is really great under the 10 pound mark, but also they're kind of customizing it differently. So they're not doing custom orders for customers. They're kind of making different backgrounds, different layouts. That's all you have to think about. And so I hear you saying, okay, Jennifer, how do I get into this niche? Well, I think if we're seeing 46,000 people in the past couple of years have bought this planner, you can say that, that person's probably made close to half a million pounds on planners alone. That's a great business. So that could be, you know, well above the 1,000 pounds a month for them and for something for you to explore. Now, let's actually think about, right, where do we find out what we can actually sell, what's going to be profitable? There's a great tool called Sale Samurai. I mentioned it on videos before. It's an Etsy listing tool and you would use it to actually see what the competition's up to, but also how likely is the thing you're creating going to be popular? Are you actually going to sell it? And using this tool, I just typed in digital planner right here. It tells you the search volume for Etsy, the competition, how popular is that on the store? And you can see there's a whole range of things. It'll tell you how many people are actually selling, the click to return, so actually how many people are then clicking and buying things, the search volume on Google itself for that item. And you can even see down here, kind of suggestions for things that we could look at. Now, right away, I'm seeing if I flip this to the highest volume, journals, digital journals are going to be hugely popular. iPad planners, that's some good notes and things like that, the digital side of that. Stickers as well. These are huge volumes that are going through and searching for these things. So again, I always go back to actually what Etsy says. That's an area, you know, we've got half a mil or 200K results there there's going to be people buying because you wouldn't see that number of results unless people were actually producing to serve an audience. So using the information in Sales Samurai, you can really hone down and think about what area you would like to cover. And so we think about, right, how can I create that item? Well, what I would do and what I have done actually, I'll show you, I've actually got one in my store that you can go and check out. I simply use canva.com, which is a free tool online publishing, and I created a planner from there. So I could actually save and create a digital copy, and you can make it something like this, and um, go in there, and I created that as a PDF. So you can go, that's obviously talking about, you know, if you want letterheads, let's actually download it, and you can make it ping files, or, you know, um, PDF as well. I created my planner in Canva, and then, because I'm not a genius in the way of creating it as a digital planner, it needs to be certain formats, it needs to be certain applications within the iPad and tablet to actually run it and edit it. I simply went on Fiverr and paid for someone to do that magic process for me. So for example, this is the person that I actually used and they had an option, you could have a 15 page planner, standard planner or premium 400 page planner. They will create a planner for you if you have designs and if you don't. So again, you could actually get the resource created based on your design, as I showed you in Canva, to then put on your Etsy store in the matter of a couple of clicks. And that's 40 pounds roughly to get that lower end option. That could be something you can create and then go into sale multiple times over. So then yeah, certainly that niche of digital planners I think is going to be huge and there's really no limit. Think about exercise journals, think about just morning pages, you know, screen dumps or brain dumps that you want to do in the morning. There's a whole host of areas to do with planners that you could really start a great business moving forward with. And then the final business that I want to suggest for you, again, completely passive once you've created, is actually more for the musical people or the creative types in the conventional sense. Now, 
again, I'm on Fiverr to show you what I mean. There is a huge audience and market for original material that people can use for YouTube videos, adverts, even websites. I'm on a link that's actually for meditation. So this lady has actually made a fantastic business. It says only 500 reviews, but I know there's gonna be much, much more people buying in the background. She has pre-recorded guided meditations. So one-time creation, and now she sells them continually in batches. She doesn't do anything else other than sell what she's already made made. So that means even the follow-up customer to serve, she just sends what she's already made out to them. Now she has options that you can do custom, obviously they're more premium, but that's consistently for her being able to use her talents and creation to then sell multiple times. Another thing on Fiverr along those lines is selling, you know, your copyright free music. So particularly like for me as a creator, YouTube videos or TikToks, we want music we can use without getting copyright restrictions where, you know, we've got to then pay someone a royalty for that music. You could do exactly as this person has done, create meditational tracks or instrumental tracks and things for that audience. Use something like Fiverr or eBay or something like that to sell again your tracks. Even something like it, say you could do this. I really like Fiverr because you can have different kind of basic standard and premium options. But again, you create it once, use your skill set, and then sell it and reward people with your products multiple times. And again, both these examples have got way well over 500 reviews, that would suggest that they've got many thousands of purchases in the background over the couple of years. So I think these are three really great niches actually. If you want to build a passive income business, you believe you could, you're excited by the courses, the planners, even some of the royalty music or something, as suggestions of what you could actually do and start a new income for yourself. And the great thing is they're all very low cost. A lot of them are actually completely free to get your products made. So it's a really great avenue as well. If you're not looking to spend that amount of money, you don't want to put a big massive investment to get your business off the ground. And because they've also got predefined audiences and traffic already in there, they've got search engines, people are coming on their websites already to look for the information. You kind of got that audience built in ready for you rather than starting from scratch. So I hope this video has been really useful for you. I'd be really excited to know actually if you've had a business idea, maybe not one of these three, but you've had something come to you that you're going to follow through and start. Please do check out the rest of my videos if you'd like on entrepreneurship, business design. We also talk about money and investing here as well. You can check out this video right here. It's on a similar topic. You can also hit subscribe if you'd like to follow my channel for the long term as well. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll speak to you very soon.